There is a gay bar in Atlanta named Blake's that there's a big controversy right now over their dress code policy. And people are saying that the dress code policy is racist and they shouldn't be able to have that kind of dress code policy. And uh, it goes as follows. No hoodies, no oversized tank tops or t-shirts, no sagging pants or excessively baggy clothes, no sweatpants, no bandanas or do-rags, no sunglasses after dark, and I suddenly think of the song I wear my sunglasses at night, uh, no backpacks, no oversized purses, no slippers, no athletic wear, no oversized chains or medallions, no headphones, no weapons, and no bad attitudes. We reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. And, you know, I, I've, I've lost some friends on Facebook because I replied to someone complaining about this. I said, well, should leather bars be able to have dress code saying that people have to wear some sort of leather or denim? Um, should a restaurant that has, a, uh, you know, that's known to be a very classy place, should they be able to tell people that you, you have to wear a suit or something that looks classy? Or, and, and if, you know, if, if a place should be able to have dress codes, what are the things that should not be allowed to be in those dress codes? And then the second question that I asked was, if a place is starting to have problems with crime and gang people coming in, what sort of thing can they do besides a dress code to stop that from occurring as much? And uh, I got one thumbs up for each of those comments, and and then people were unfriending me, which I, I there's a new uh, extension for Chrome that lets you see who has unfriended you, and I figured I would lose some friends over that, and I did, because uh, you have to. That's the main thing that I've actually been worried about this whole time with saying anything that is kind of. Uh, that isn't left-wing. I'll lose my gay friends. And it's it bothers me a lot. If you're gay, you're, you're just, you're supposed to be this certain way, you have to have this opinion. And uh, it's kind of disappointing. Uh, uh, you don't have to have that kind of opinion, but a lot of people will make it feel like you, you do. Um, things like no sweatpants. You know, that's, I mean, that doesn't apply to even a particular culture. That's just, they don't want people that look that sloppy, I guess. Um, no, it, the no uh, huge purses thing, you know, they don't want people having these big containers that they could have drugs or whatever in. Uh, no backpacks, the same sort of thing. But some of the other things, you know, the no excessively baggy clothes, the, the no pants that are drooping halfway down your ass, blah, blah, blah. You know. Those things are usually associated with people who are not really very gay friendly. Let's make no mistake about that. How many gay men do you know that dress that way? How many gay men have you ever seen who dress that way? who dress in the 20-year-old gang style. Anyone? Do you know even one person? Have you met one person? Have you heard of one person? There are those that do things on the down low, which means they're in the closet, but how about ones that are out of the closet? You know? If you're saying this is a racist, people are saying this is a racist thing, let me show you an example of, uh, a bunch of examples of some uh, gay black men uh, that are very out of the closet. And, uh, you know, you tell me whether this dress code policy would affect them or not at all. Do you think this would affect gay black men? 
Or would it only would it only affect the black men that want the affectations and mannerisms and attitudes that you find in sort of the gang mentality sort of thing, the thug mentality sort of thing, that probably aren't very gay friendly to begin with. Oh, but but you can't you can't single them out. Well, you know what? You don't have to dress a particular way. Like I said, should should a should a leather bar be able to tell people you need to dress in leather? Oh, well, 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 or or denim. Well, people could say that's racist too. A restaurant, a fancy restaurant where you have to dress up a bit. Oh, oh, that's racist too because you can't wear your thug clothing. Bullshit. Bullshit. It is not a racist policy. Is it, a, it is a policy to try to cut back on the gang mentality, to try to cut back on crime as much as possible. And those kinds of ways of dressing are associated with that. If you're a black man and you want to go there, dress differently than that, that stereotype. That's not a racist thing. Again, anyone of any race can belong to that culture. Anyone. Anyway. 